Hey everybody, this video is going to be an introduction to decelerations and fetal heart rate. Um, when this kind of testing is done is when the mother is contracting, whether she's in labor or it's preterm contractions or whatever. We're hooking her up to a monitor. It's the same kind of monitor that we use on non-stress tests, which we have another video about. But this monitor, um, it has one part to it that is a tocometer or tocodynamometer. Essentially, it is a thing that we put on the mother's belly to measure the contractions of her uterus, right? So it's like at a baseline, and then when the uterus contracts, it increases, and then when the uterus chills out, it goes back down to its baseline. So that's one part of our monitoring. The other part of our monitoring is some way to measure the fetal heart rate. And this can either be done like externally with like a Doppler ultrasound, uh, strap or internally, which is where we actually put like an electrode um, tip into the baby's scalp. Like scalp, it sounds painful, but it's really not a big deal. It's we're just putting a little wire down next to the baby um, to really get an accurate internal reading of the baby's heart rate. Um, so again, there's two parts to this test. I drew out an example uh, tocometer strip here with two big contractions. Right, so there's one contraction here, and let's say a few minutes later, there's another big contraction here. So this woman, let's say she is in going into labor, and we want to see how the baby is responding to that labor. Now, a deceleration, what does that mean? Fetal heart rate deceleration. Well, when the uterus contracts, there should be decelerations in the fetal heart rate for various reasons. But, you know, just think about it. If you are living in this closed space and all of a sudden it starts closing down on you, all sorts of different things can happen where the heart rate can decrease because the, the uh, excuse me, the fetus is not getting enough blood, the fetus is not getting enough oxygen, or it's just a normal thing where the fetus is feeling closed down, so it's kind of shutting down. Um, you know, the, this monitoring, really we're just trying to tell how well the fetus is enduring the contractions of the uterus. And so there's three big kinds of decelerations. There's early decelerations, late decelerations, and variable. Now, if you could label these with like a good, okay, bad type labeling system, the early ones are the good ones. The late ones are the okay ones, or kind of okay, kind of bad, and the variable ones are the bad ones. So now what do each one of these mean? Why do I want to have early decelerations and not variable decelerations? Well, that is an excellent question. Early decelerations are ones that the deceleration in heart rate, I guess I should probably explain that first. So here we have our fetal heart rate strip, right? And this is just an example one. Um, that let's just say this is at like 140 beats per minute, right? It's just taking along at 140 beats per minute. A deceleration is when that baseline of 140 all of a sudden drifts down to something lower and then comes back up to baseline. So let's say it drifted down to 110 or some other number. This is a deceleration. It decelerated. It went from 140 beats per minute to 110. Okay, so that's what a deceleration is. Now, early, late, or variable are the different kinds of those decelerations. And if we look down here at these contractions, let's say these contractions had a high point or a midpoint, right? It'd be like right here in both of them. That's the midpoint of that contraction. That determines early or late. Early decelerations are ones that are gonna start their deceleration and go down to the, you know, to the bottom of their deceleration before this midpoint here. So they're gonna be going along. Let, now let's say I'm actually doing the strip that matches up with this. So, Here's our fetal heart rate, and it decreases, right? That's early, because you can see we started and we decelerated significantly before the midpoint of this contraction. So this would be called early. And again, early are the ones that you want to have, right? So the baby's just kind of reacting to the contraction, heart rate is decelerating, and then it comes right back up to baseline. Let's go over here and say that this is a different patient and the fetal heart rate is going along and now it doesn't decrease until after that midpoint and then comes back up. See how the midpoint's here and we didn't start decelerating until after that, whereas here we were before it. 
This would be late. Now late, like I said earlier, it's not necessarily really bad. It's just um, usually most commonly the buzzword is utero placental insufficiency. That's, that's the one that shows up on boards and shelf exams, comats, all that stuff. Um, it just means there's some sort of ins insufficiency in blood flow between the uterus, you know, the placenta and the fetus. Um, you know, because when you think about it, if we only have so much room for that placenta to hang out, for the fetus to hang out, uh, and that uterus then starts contracting down, that contraction is just kind of pushing blood, not allowing the blood to flow to the fetus very well. And so that's utero-placental insufficiency. It doesn't necessarily mean too bad, it just means you might, might need to monitor them a little bit closer as the contractions get stronger and closer together. So now I've gone over early, which is the good, late, which is the, you know, okay, and now let's talk about variable. Variable, as the name kind of suggests, are just decelerations that just happen, you know, like whenever. And you can see some crazy fetal heart rate uh, strips. You know, they'll, they'll like decelerate here way before the contraction or they'll decelerate here. And it doesn't have to be that crazy. It can also be just changing quickly from early to late decelerations. So let's say it's going along here and first we have an early deceleration and we're like, oh man, things are going pretty well. But then over here it changes to really late. That would also be variable because you did early and late in the same strip. So variable just means there's no set pattern. There's no um, set way. And you really have to watch the, watch the strip to really get an idea if it's early, late, or variable. Um, but variable is kind of the bad one because a fetus is going to have a variable fetal heart rate when it's hypoxic, when it's running out of oxygen. And so that's obviously something that's bad, right? We never want our fetus to be out of oxygen. That's when, that's when bad um, outcomes happen, you know, like cerebral palsy, that sort of thing. And so that means that's almost kind of an emergency. We really need to address this situation. It may warrant some, you know, short-term further testing to make sure we're really getting a variable heart rate, but it really does require some... Um, direct, immediate action. Whereas if you had early or late, it would just be, things are going well, let's just keep watching it. But uh, that, that's a brief introduction to fetal heart rate decelerations, which is something you do when the uterus is contracting. And it's a way to monitor how well that fetus is weathering the contractions going on in its living space. Thank you.